<laughs> yeah, well, screw you. She was only a telephone, sir. Oh, he's coming to the police department? That was quick. But... The scientist said he was coming here, didn't he? So we're not going to meet that same scientist. I think. Meet me at the front? Okay. Now, the first time I played this, when I was still doing my test run, I actually went straight from the weapons department out to the front, and, uh, oh yeah, I guess I should point out, before we leave, this room, way in the back, I believe this is the press conference room, I don't think there's any items in here. No, it's pretty empty. And upstairs is actually blocked off for the moment. Yeah. Big steel door. Let me in, let me in. I'm always authorized. I'm the player character. Don't you know how video games work? I sure don't. Okay, let's actually get on with this story. Desk monkey. Better than a box monkey. So, we're heading off to the museum. Yeah, we get a nice little world map here, and... Love this music. If you go to the right location, you get a cutscene. Dr. Hans Klopper. Or is that Hans Klopper? Okay. Ma, did you read the paper while you were waiting for me? You seemed to have no clue a moment ago. Don't worry, you got... Ace even got her gun out right now, so <laughs> I think we're prepared to deal with some stinky little scientist. Don't shoot him this time. Oh, press conference. Oh, 
there's another uh, hidden texture in the front. Let's see if we can get a zoom in here. It has a chocobo. Uh, I don't know what I would call that. A hanging dealy. They must be having an exhibit on chocobos. Should take your son here one day. Dinosaurs? The kid would love that too, Daniel. Hint, hint. Um. Yeah. Got a nice little snow crunching footstep sound effect here. It's always appreciated, especially when there's not much snow on the ground. Hello, Mr. Security Guard. I guess he has a flashlight in his hand. Isn't that what the police always say? Well, like I just walked in from the nether. Anything around here? Not really. There's a phone, but all those doors are locked. Uh, what? Okay, I guess I'm signing in for Daniel, too. <laughs> Jeez. Walk me halfway there and I'll do the rest. Uh hi, -huh, you're got white hair, man. I'm a young blonde. Sorry, but it's not gonna work. Unless you can avoid being set on fire, I mean, that might be a point in your favor. Good job, Daniel. Scouted the whole museum and determined that's where we need to go. However, always the contrary one. I have to look around first. Can I examine this? No. I always think he's going to kick the door down. Hey, buddy. I hear you. I just don't care. That hair! What a strange connection. Tell me everything I need to know about mitochondria. No, I can't say I look at my cells often.
Oh, he loves his mitochondria. I think you're still nothing. So what is 200,000 volts in Kelvin? But what? No, I'm not going to argue the science of this. that has more to do with DNA. Even the mutants can mutate. Now that I look at it, it seems like he just has Photoshop open on his computer. Just making some pretty pictures, present them to the stockholders and get more funding. As long as they're pretty and shiny enough. Because we certainly don't make use of our millions and billions of cells to uh, store and Remain conscious. No, that's completely unnecessary. He died. The root of all evil? Daniel's gonna punch you, man. You don't want that. Oh. Adding some nice text to his presentation. So that went, uh, we kind of got some information at least. Let's head back to the PD. Wow, we talked to him for a long time.
Oh yeah? Just don't hit the red button. Remember, police sirens make you go faster. It's a proven fact. I think there was one game where that was actually true, but I can't remember which it was now. Anyway, we're back in the precinct. Having a good day, desk monkey? Oh, I'm such a bastard. So is it your job to just hang out here and uh, give people directions? Oh, let's go. Let's look in here for a moment. See if our cop friend is... Hey, he's out of the way. Let's loot his locker. Oh! 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 That's low. Locking your locker to protect your stuff from kleptomaniacs? Who does that? Um, okay, I just... I'm gonna check the basement here. See if we got anything new in weapon storage. Uh, yep. Looks like a few of the boxes refilled. Get some more medicine one. And some more ammo. Never hurts. Not me, at least. I was very good for hurting my enemies. Alright, let's go meet Daniel. Okay. Meet the meeting. Just hope there'll be some good meat. Deer sausage and all that. Blackboard changed. Why would people still be gathering? Did the office not inform the ticket holders? <laughs> Daniel is learning not to always kiss ass. Could you give me another mod permit? That would help me watch his back. Hey! Thanks. I'm actually not going to use that right away, but, uh... Oh, I got stuck. Wait, Daniel, wait! I just have to drop something off in the basement, I'm sure you understand. Our inventories are very limited these days. But don't worry. In the future, they'll either be unlimited or... Or we just won't have them. Oops. Yeah, that's the problem, Wayne. Don't you see? Guns are supposed to be weaker, and slower, and less technologically advanced. Should be more prone to failure. That is how the evolution of technology works. Okay, I'm just going to drop my mod permit in here. We can pick it up next time. Okay, Daniel, I'm done. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's go save your children now. Uh, your child. 